Last month, on December 9th in Djibouti, IGAD met and we discussed how to bring an end to the war in Sudan. And let me reiterate that the United States remains committed to working with IGAD, the African Union, and our partners to do just that. Today's meeting also addresses how to lessen tensions following the announcement of a memorandum of understanding, an MOU, between Ethiopia and Somaliland. We are troubled by what is reportedly included in this MOU. We join the chorus of voices in the region and internationally, affirming our respect for Somalia's sovereignty, territorial integrity, and political independence, consistent with the UN Charter and the Constitutive Act of the African Union, which Chairperson Faki just referred to as sacrosanct. We also welcome the African Union's Peace and Security Committee communique of yesterday in this regard. As we have repeatedly said, the United States recognizes the Federal Republic of Somalia's sovereignty, its unity, and its territorial integrity, which includes Somaliland. We believe the status of Somaliland is an issue for Somalis, including Somalilanders, to decide. We are particularly concerned that the increase in tensions over the Memorandum of Understanding threatens to disrupt the fight that Somalis, along with Africans and regional and international partners, including the United States, are waging against al-Shabaab. We have already seen troubling indications that al-Shabaab is using the MOU to generate new recruits. It is vital for Ethiopia and Somalia to remain focused on this shared security priority. We urge both sides to avoid precipitous actions, including related to existing Ethiopian force deployments in Somalia that could create opportunities for al-Shabaab to expand its reach within Somalia and into Ethiopia. The government of Ethiopia has cooperated with the governments in Somalia and Somaliland region for many years, and it is essential that it continues. We believe that amid ongoing security and stability concerns throughout the Horn of Africa, it is critical for governments in the region to maintain working relationships and close dialogue with each other to address shared challenges. The region can ill afford further conflict. The United States also welcomes IGAD's efforts today to address the deepening crisis in Sudan. This summit provides another opportunity for us all, IGAD, the African Union, and all concerned states to call on the SAF and RSF to immediately end the fighting, adhere to their obligations under international humanitarian law and respect for human rights, and allow unhindered humanitarian access to meet the emergency needs of civilians. It is time for them to take action consistent with their stated claims that they want to stop the fighting and meet the needs of the Sudanese people. We regret that the SAF and RSF has so far failed to fulfill their commitment at the December 9th Djibouti IGAT summit to an unconditional ceasefire and a face-to-face -face meeting. It is high time that General Burhan and General Hameti deliver on their word, their promises, their commitments made to Egan and at Jeddah. They will be responsible for the breakup of Sudan if this conflict continues. I must stress that we are deeply concerned about recent RSF offensive in Gazira State and elsewhere, where there have been credible reports of attacks on civilians, including rape and other human rights violations and looting of humanitarian supplies. We are also concerned by reports of SAF aerial bombings of populated areas in Niala, Khartoum, and Gezira State, resulting in civilian deaths. There is no acceptable military solution to this conflict in Sudan. As the Sudanese people have long demanded, the conflict must end and Sudan's governance must return to civilians. Civilians must decide the future of Sudan. And we welcome efforts, including by Takadum, to form an inclusive and broadly representative pro-democracy front. We urge work to further diversify 
such a front, including bringing in more representatives from Sudan's various regions, women, and youth. We look forward to continued cooperation with EGAD and its leaders, as well as our international partners in restoring Sudan's democratic transition. Thank you again for the opportunity to participate in today's summit. The United States firmly believes diplomatic engagement is the only way to resolve these challenges, and we appreciate your partnership in advancing peace, prosperity, and stability. The people of the region desire and deserve it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ambassador Mike. Now I give a floor for uh, representative of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia.